and it makes it easy for stuff like this because then I don't have to try and load balance 25 copper sheets up to that assembler. I just let the smart splitter handle it for me because I'm lazy, right? Or efficient, depends upon how you look at it. Welcome back, everybody, to Satisfactory. I'm the Bearded OG, and in this episode, we are going to build out our Caterium wire and copper uh, floor, which is the second floor here in our pyramid. So, yeah, let's get to it. I guess first thing we'll do is we'll take a quick look at our um, Satisfactory Tools chart here. So what we are doing is we are producing... Uh, let's see, we're bringing in 108 Caterium. Uh, we're going to build four constructors that's going to create Caterium wire. 240 of that 480 will go then to four cable constructors to create cable, which we'll put straight into storage. And then 240 will create just 240 wire that we'll also put into storage. Then we will also um, make a quick wire with 48 of those ingots 140 will then go into storage and the other 100 will go to an assembler on the third floor making ai limiters so that's our caterium setup for our copper setup uh, we're going to build 10 copper constructors making 100 copper sheets 25 of those copper sheets will go to that same ai limiter assembler creating five AI limiters per minute that we'll put into storage because um, I'm going to be using a lot of smart splitters. And then 75 of that copper will just go straight, uh, straight into storage as copper sheet. So that is the plan for today's episode. All right, let's go ahead and get started with this. I already uh, ran the, the power up the, up the little rail here, so that's ready to go. Let's go over here and grab ourselves some Mark III lifts. This is our Caterium lift. We want to bring that all the way up and point it to the west. This is our copper. We want to bring that all the way up and point it to the east. All right. Now, let's go ahead and bring you... Oh, actually, you know what? Let's wait on that. Let's get the machines in first so we know where the wire placement's going to be. And also, we want to... Uh, put down our grip metal. So this is going to pretty much go almost all the way back. And we want five of these spaces used. Like so. I don't believe we want these to be grip metal. And I got a couple up here that we got to set back. There we go. Let's go to our blueprint toolbar and we will grab the three on the left blueprint with the arrow pointing that direction. And make sure this is in the center of that tile and this is lined up with you. And then we're going to set another one of these down. Uh, yeah, that is correct. We do want to set another one of these down. Make sure you are here like that. And I think you also need to be over here. No, that's too far. There. Oh, yeah, there's our green line. I wasn't seeing the green line. Oh, shit. <laughs> Ow. Here, well, let's lock that into place. <laughs> I have a little stairwell here. This is all temporary because uh, we will be putting hyper tubes in later. That is right, though, I think. Just want to make sure that it is. It looks like it is. Okay, good. Now, um, on this side... 
Did I? One, two, three, four. Yeah, I just did four of these. We need to do five of the grip metal textures here. Okay, now we're going to use the right side. Uh, three on the right side blueprints. And we've got our green line there. Let's make sure it's also matched up this way, which it looks like it is. And that's good. And we'll do another three on the right. There's our green line there. But this does need to come over to here. And we should be good. Alright. Now, um, next we're gonna hook up belts to here and here. But we need to change things up down here. So all of this needs to actually be picked up and reset. Grab all of those belts there. Okay, so here's the deal. Um, these first four constructors are going to be making quick wire. Here, let's copy those settings. Paste and paste. Okay, and we want to cut... Um, that belt there, and this belt here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to set up a splitter, or sorry, not a splitter, a lift. Uh, yeah. A lift there, and a lift here. And we want a merger going that direction. Reset the lift. And run a belt. Uh, no, need a belt. There we go. Into here. Very good. That takes care of a quick wire. Now, these four machines are all going to be making Caterium wire. However, they do not, their outputs do not link up with each other, just their inputs do. Um, oh, no, actually, I needed to keep that there. Okay, so you're making uh, the alternate recipe Caterium wire at 120. And you are, and you are, and you are. So these four machines here are all making Caterium wire. And I actually need to raise, now that I look at this, I need to raise those up. Okay, so let's do the same thing here. We'll put a lift there. Um... We put that lift there, and we've got to raise this one up. One. Is that right? Oh, no, that's too high. Okay, here, let's just do it this way. Okay, so that's got the marker and then another light showing. So the marker and another light there. And then this can go into there. I believe that is now correct. Okay, and that's because this line's going to be going back to the bus, and this one is also on the same north-south line, so it's got to be above it. 
Excellent. Okay, so now for this situation, we are going to run... Uh, okay, hold on. I gotta think about this for a second. Let's go down here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a splitter here. Like so. Okay, and then let's run you into there. Put these belts in. Okay, so that will continue feeding the the caterium uh, uh, ingots down the line for these these guys. Now over here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put splitters here, but they're gonna go the other direction. And then the output of these last two wires will be going into here. Except for we don't like that little bit of clipping issue. So we're going to have to bring that out a bit. So why don't we bring you out to... there and that's good okay then we'll hook up these belts uh, all right wait a second what the hell's going on here Those are all... Oh, these machines... All of these machines are, are too far to the east. Okay. Yeah, that needs to go there. Okay, we need to reset these three machines here. They're all too far. These guys are correct. Surprised I didn't catch that. All right, if we do a blueprint, yeah. Let's do a blueprint removal of those. And these are quick wire. Get rid of that, grab a lift, and it should... Oh, that isn't going to work because we had to move it over. No problem. I think we need to go to there. And then this one is set to do cable. Copy settings. Um, all four of these machines are actually going to do uh, do cable. Okay, let's get the belts, uh, this belt hooked up here. Um, oh, yeah, this one here. I was going to say. Now I think we're good. And then the output of this will be cable, and that one also needs to... That's going to need to be on a different level as well. Uh, I 
Okay, why don't we... I'm going to think about this for a second. That's going to go above... Yeah, we're going to have to make this one... We can make this one go up higher. Yeah, that, that's fine. That should work. Uh, wait. Yeah, no, it, it is. <laughs> Sorry. I know, I'm scatterbrained. Because there's nothing coming from this direction that's going to run into that. So we're good. We're good with that. Okay, so let me let me just go through this again because I know I'd, I was a little scatterbrained with all that. These four machines are doing quick wire and producing 240 in total. That 240 quick wire is going to go along this belt to the bus. And then using a smart splitter with overflow settings, we will pull the 25 off of it that we need for the AI limiter assembler up above and the rest will go into storage. Clear as mud. Okay. Um, these two are doing, making just normal wire from Caterium ingots. And we'll put those on the bus and send them down to storage. So this is our for our buildable storage. And then these two also are both making 200 and uh, or in total making 240 wire are being wrapped around and then sent into these four constructors which need 60 wire per minute there's a total of four of them therefore 240 to make cable um and that means we need to also hook this belt up to here one two three four and then the cable goes onto the bus and goes out to storage i think we got that right finally We got to do the inputs. Okay, so we're going to hook this up to you. We're going to go out to here. And we want to run down the center of this tile. So that means we want to go uh, move that over. Go back to and then bring this down to here. So this is pretty much going to be the same thingy we did uh, with the iron down below. Alright, we'll grab a lift, put it there, turn it that direction. Let's switch back to our number one toolbar. Put a conveyor pole there and one here. Grab ourselves a merger. And we want to Line it up down here, make sure it's going that direction. Cut that line, reset it from here to here. And then put a lift in. Okay, that takes care of getting our ingots going. Oh, no, we need to set up a splitter here. Make sure the Caterium ingots are flowing all the way down. Should be. Looking good. All right, let's power these machines up. Uh, here, instead of doing that, let's just put this here. But do our little half nudge trick. That can go there, that can go there, and this can go there. Okay, do I have. Uh, oh no, we gotta hook up power over here too. There we go. I think we got it. So that takes care of our wire and our cable and our quick wire. Next up is copper sheeting. This one's going to be pretty simple. Uh, we're basically just going to put down 10 machines all making copper sheeting. Uh, so once again, we want to go five this way. Did I do five this time? Yes, I did. Good for me. And then this will go down... Uh, Think to there, two, three, four, 
all up and then just fill all this in here. I spilled. Shame on me. Okay, the other thing too, uh, let's let's actually do this right now. Um, I, I want you to go there. And then let's come down here and we're going to I think we're okay. Okay, so we're going to put a floor hole here and a floor hole here. And we're going to put a lift here uh, because this is going to be for our overflow ingots that we're going to send to storage. So this will be the Caterium overflow and this one will end up being the copper which we'll want to put uh, right there. Okay, got that done. Now, basically, we just put down 10 constructors for copper sheeting. Let's get it done. Everything is copper sheeting. Makes it easy. Okay. Uh, now what we need to do is we need to bring our copper over here. And uh, I think for that, let's just run it straight to there, maybe. It's not, yeah, that's not clipping. Okay, we're good. So we need a merger. Going that direction. And moved over to, should be a right on the seam. Yes, it is. Okay. Except for it's got to go up one more. Yeah. So this belt can actually go back. This is also not right. That will go into there. And we'll put you on there. Yeah, we gotta we gotta hold this back one because otherwise it's gonna push it into the trim. And then now the cable's in the way, so we gotta hold it back too. I thought I could get away with not doing that, and I thought wrong. So since we're going to do it that way, we might as well keep that one up top and... Oh! Frick! Frickin' frack! Uh, that's got to go back even further. Uh, well, okay, no. Actually, what we could do is... This. Okay, so the cable is clipping through there, but conduit. <laughs> Unless, all right, no, let's let's do it right. Damn it, Jim. 
So what we need to do is grab a an outlet. Put one there, one there, one there, and one there. Let's move these over one so they're even on both sides. There. Now I'll sleep better tonight. So, do we have copper on this line now? We do not because we still need to do this. Now we put this here. And we put another lift from here down to here. And... Oh my god, I... <laughs> I fed... Kateria made all of these machines. Son of a bitch. Well, actually, they didn't go in the machine, so if I... I'm trying to avoid resetting the entire belt. So let's just run these out of here. Knock it off. We'll clean, clear out the system. Uh, these ones I am going to have to redo, though, unfortunately. There's nothing for it. I think the central belt cleaned them out of the splitters. Let's see if this is just copper. Yeah, I think we're I think we're good. Especially if Wait a second though. It's yeah, no, I think we still have a caterium ingot in there. Is it maybe it's still on that belt. Try it now. Ah, yeah, okay. It was still on the belt. So that means there there is a Caterium ingot queued up in there. So I'm going to have to do this twice. It's still better than resetting everything, though. All right, let me get that done. All right, I think I finally got it fixed. So let's just confirm each one of these machines is running... Um, are you running? Yes, you just don't have your copper ingots yet. What about you? You're running. That one should get an ingot, and there it goes. Okay. Um, since I have some extra copper in my inventory, let's put split them up amongst the last machines. This is so crazy, man, using this, this depot here, because I don't even have to worry about... <laughs> Haven't anything in my inventory because uh, it just automatically fills, and it's just amazing. I have to say, it is just friggin' amazing. All right, so both of these dudes are outputting copper sheeting, and I think we're gonna need we're gonna merge them together to get on the main belt. Um, I'm just not entirely sure what the height of that's gonna be. So let's just hold off on that until we're ready to figure that out. But basically, we'll have a lift here going up, you know, somewhere like that. One here, uh, and then, you know, going over to a merger. But that's not necessarily the right height. I suppose we could we could set it for now, and then I can just adjust the height of the, the merger when the time comes. That needs to go over there. Okay. So we can either go up or down as needed. And I think, let's see, one, two, three. Yeah, this one's too high now. One, two, three. Oh, I need to go up one more. One, two, three, and then one more. There we go. Okay. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen, for our Caterium wire, quick wire, cable, and copper sheeting. Next 
are assemblers. Okay, so... I think for now I'm just going to use the ladder to get up there. And we'll just put it on the end here. I do... Uh, yeah, okay, never mind. Welcome to the assembler floor. Where the magic happens. So, first of all, let's grab our wire here, which I th think is on this one. Nope, it's the next one up. Right here. And we will put this right in the corner there. All right. I am going to jump over to my test save and take a look at something. I'll be right back. All right, guys. Uh, let's take a look at uh, Satisfactory Tools here. So um, we are going to have a total of five. Yeah, five products being made. Uh, up here, so we have we'll have one assembler making AI limiters, uh, which the quick wire and the copper will feed into, and that'll produce five AI limiters a minute for us. We have two assemblers making rotors, and then two of those rotors will be going into an assembler making smart plating, which we need to make a thousand of for the. Um, the space elevator for the next phase and uh, then we'll have six because because these do four a pop so we're making a total of eight the other six will go into storage so we have rotors for buildables we have uh, the one smart plating assembler uh, which is taking in rotors and reinforced plates <clears throat> we have one alternate bolted frame assembler which I think makes five yeah five per minute and that's just going to go straight into storage. So we have modular frames. And then we'll have three reinforced iron plate assemblers outputting 15 per minute. Seven and a half of which will go to the bolted frame. Two will go to the smart plating. And then the remaining five and a half will go into storage for reinforced iron plates. So that is our configuration. All right, so let's get started, first of all, with the usual um, metal tread marking. So we're going to go in one, two, and one, two. So we're going to start here, grip metal, and we actually go all the way to here with this. So on the north side, we're, we're only going to have one foundation of a border uh, just because of the way this is going to work out but all on the other three sides we'll have two that looks correct now uh, let's go into our blueprints, and we want to go to assemblers. And we're only going to set these once, so we don't need to put them on the toolbar. So we first want to start with the southwest corner assembler. Okay, and then let's stick these over here. We want that to be on the edge there, and we want the front of these to be along this seam here. And that looks correct. And these should already be set. Yeah, see, so th this one's set to do rotors. This should be one of the plate, reinforced plates. Okay. 
Uh, now let's do the, let's see, the northwest corner, which will just be two more assemblers making plates. That needs to go there. And the front of these needs to go on the seam. Just kind of taking a quick look-see and making sure that looks correct. Believe it is. Now we want the southeast assembler blueprint. that's where we want that to go let's just double check that that's right on the seam and that's right on the corner there this is our second rotor assembler and this should be our AI limiter assembler yes it is excellent and then finally of course we have the northeast corner blueprint Bring that back to there. So that's lined up on the seam and on this seam. So I think we are good. This one's making smart plating and this one is making modular frames with the bolted frame recipe. All right. Let's run the power down to here. And power's hooked up. And that was the easy part. <laughs> now, hooking up all the logistics is going to be a little more involved. So, this is making rotors. And we're going to send... Make sure that's straight. We're going to send two of the four rotors in there. This is just a normal splitter. This create uh, this generates four rotors per minute, so it's going to basically load balance and send two rotors into here, which is what this requires per minute. And then the other two rotors from this machine will come out here and will merge onto the line for going back to storage. Now, um, this, these frames here come out and go into this merger uh, along with these frames. And then we run a belt out of here into, uh, no, not out of there, sorry, out of this splitter into here. And then we run another one out of this splitter into here. Uh, because this also needs reinforced iron plates. And this needs reinforced iron plates. Uh, but this one isn't load balanced. It's just going to be manifold. And then the, the remaining reinforced iron plates, because we are making a total of 15, because we have three machines making five, will come out here and be added to the stuff going back to storage. Uh, and I think that's all of the interconnections between the assemblers themselves. Uh, well, except for the outputs. Uh, how the hell did these get here? <laughs> I have no idea. I have no idea how those got there. What we're going to do now is we are going to... Let's remove this for a second. This should be our return... Yes, it is. Okay. 
So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna we're gonna put a conveyor hole there for the return. All of the products from these assemblers that we're sending back down will be on a sushi belt. We can get away with that because they're not, they're not high quantities. So, uh, so we can sushi belt everything coming down from this floor and then we'll use smart splitters down below at the storage to to sort them. So it'll make the returns for, for these machines easy. So what I want to do is I want to take a merger and put it here with the output going that way. And I think we just can put that right in the center of this tile. And we want to make sure it's lined up with this conveyor hole, which it looks like it is. Okay. And then we need mergers all pointing towards this kind of central merger. And then on this side, we flip them around the other way. So everything converges on that merger. Okay, we can actually reset this one again. Um, actually here, let's just make this all one belt. Not that it matters, but we're gonna do it anyway. I believe that hooks up all the outputs. Okay, so this is our, our central output. Okay, that's output. this to be all the way up and then change it to input or reversed and bring that over to there okay let's see next order of business is to hook up our inputs um, let's jump back down here And I want to set this back to just normal concrete. And now that I remember something, I think we're going to need to reverse these lifts and have them go behind. Pretty sure we're going to need, need to do that. But I need to go look at something again on my test safe. So I'll be right back. All right, guys. Uh, next thing we're going to do is we're going to take some floor holes. We're going to make sure they're in the center of this tile and starting at the edge uh, right here. And we're going to put seven of these in. That's eight. I don't need that one. All right. Now what we're going to do is we're going to grab a lift and make sure that's outputting. And that lift's going to go there. That lift's going to go there. So they're all stair-stepped like that. Okay, good. That's all we're going to do up here for the moment. Uh, because I want to get the material up here so I can look at it and see what goes where. Okay, so let's head on down here. Yeah, that's why I was saying earlier we're gonna we're gonna have to move this in behind. 
Okay, let's go ahead and take these down for the moment and go over here. Okay, we need to set up our bus. So let's run this down to here. And then we're going to need a merger. Going this way. And uh, we're going to need... one above that as well. That's not going to reach, is it? Why isn't it merging into here? Because I've got the damn thing backwards, that's why. Can't take me anywhere, man, I'll tell you what. Can't all take me fucking anywhere. There we go. All right, so what I'm going to do here now is I don't like, I don't really like floating mergers and splitters. So we're going to put those poles there uh, as supports for those things. And then we don't, I don't believe we need these any longer. Okay, so let's run you to here, and you to here. And that means then that our cable is going to be on the next, the next one up. Is it possible that I lucked out and put that in the right position? It's almost... As if I had planned it that way. Hot damn. Okay. <laughs> that was easy. <coughs> so that connects our cable up. Let's run uh, these guys all the way down to here for the moment. Now, um, we want to... We want to get the copper sheeting up next, because that's the one that's going to be on the end and up the highest. And then after that will, will be the, the quick wire uh, for the AI limiters. The normal cable, or I'm sorry, the normal wire and the cable are going into storage. We're not using those to make anything in the assemblers. That output is right on the end there. Right. I don't th think I'm going to actually add the copper sheeting to this bus at all. I think we're going to send it down its own hole, uh, you know, on the outputs. So we don't need to, to make a, a thing for it up there. So let's grab a lift. And we got to turn this backwards. And as far as how high up it goes, I don't think it matters a whole lot. So let's just do this. Let's go one, two, three, four. Let's just say four. And we'll do the same thing over here. One, two, three, four. Uh, right, okay. Now, um, we need to get a merger up here that's outputting this way. Pretty sure. Yeah. I'm gonna reset you. We will 
run you into there. So we need to put a smart splitter. Yeah. We need to put a smart splitter here. But, ah, shit. Okay, we're not going to... Well, let's try something. If we put a lift here and bring it down to here, will we be able to line it up with a smart splitter? Oh, I need an AI limiter. I'm going to need a couple AI limiters. Let me go make some AI limiters. All right, I think we can get away with probably eyeballing this one. Um, so it's probably going to be right about there-ish. And that did split the belt. Yeah, okay. Now the question is, is that straight? Or level, I should say. Yeah, that looks pretty good. And straight enough for eyeballing. Now what we're going to do here is we're going to... That's the input, so... Okay, so this can be any. The center output is overflow, and then the right output is none. And if you don't understand how the smart splitter works, basically what this means is anything that comes through your splitter, send out the left. Now, notice that I can also explicitly assign, if I wanted to, copper sheeting, and that would work in this particular case, too. Um, so either way works, right? Uh, so we, we can just say send copper sheet out. But if the line uh, overflows, in other words, if it gets blocked up, which it will, because we're sending 100 copper sheet down the line and it's only going to be taking 25 uh, uh, per minute, then it'll send the other overflow amount out the center. And that will go down the belt and down into our storage. Okay, so that's how that works. And it makes it easy for st stuff like this because then I don't have to try and load balance 25 copper sheets up to that assembler. I just let the smart splitter handle it for me because I'm lazy, right? Or efficient, depends upon how you look at it. And then the overflow of the copper sheet will come out of here and we're gonna route it down through the you know floor to the storage. Very good. All right, next thing we wanna do is we wanna get our Caterium upstairs. So we're gonna bring you down here and we're going to point at our Katerium belt, and I'm going to guess that that's where it needs to go. That may not be correct, but that's where we'll start. And any chance at all that we can uh, put another smart splitter and have it line up properly? No, but here again, I think we can eyeball this. Um, I think if we just... Oh, there's something wrong with my tractor. Just notice that. That should be pretty damn close right there. This is the same scenario, right? We are sending 240 quick wire down this belt, and we only need uh, we'll need a hundred of that for the AI limiters. But we don't care about that number because we're going to let the smart splitter do the work for us. So out its left output, yep, out its left output, we want it to send, uh, we can assign, assign it directly, so quick wire, and then out the center output, do overflow, and then nothing out the right output. So it'll, it'll send 100 out that line, but as soon as that line then starts to plug up, which it will because we have 240 in total going down, and then it'll send the rest of it out this way, and all this stuff will get routed downstairs. I love smart splitters. They are beautiful. What's even better than smart splitters is programmable splitters, which we'll get later. Okay, now, here's the million dollar question. Did I line that son of a bitch up right? I didn't. Okay, well, you know, I didn't figure my luck would hold out that much. Okay, so we've got one, two, three, four markers and then two lights showing. I think I just need to go up one notch with that. I think. Yeah, okay. So we want four markers and only one light showing. Okay, there's the four markers and the one light. Bada bing, bada boom. Hot damn. Okay, so that gets 
all of the stuff upstairs we need for our AI limiters. Let's go get those connected. So what we want to do now is we want to come over here and we want to hook up a belt here that's going to go... Oh, I don't know. Let's start with that. And what are the chances that that is correct? Oh, oh my God. <laughs> I think I did it right the first time. Yep. Look at that. Amazing. Okay. So that gets the copper sheets into our AI limiter machine. This one should be easier because then all we have to do is just go here and go here. And there we go. And this should start making AI limiters for us after I handcrafted all of those, but that's okay. See, it's starting to get all of its stuff right here. And boom, there it goes. The first of hundreds of thousands of AI limiters that will probably be made for this playthrough. Uh-oh. Mother. <laughs> it, looked, <laughs> it looked like it was straight. God damn it. So what we need to go is... There's the fourth marker and one more blip up. That should be correct. Yes, I think that is finally correct. All right, let me just bring you up till you're right below that belt. There we go. Um, it, it is going to matter how the order of these next five go. And I need to, once again, go take a look at how that's going to go. So I'll be right back. All right, guys, we are back and ready to proceed here. Um, I did have to change something because I realized that um, we, are, uh, we are feeding these copper sheets back onto the bus over here uh, because of the way that I'm going to route them uh, back down to the bottom. So I made that change. Uh, off camera. So I just wanted to point that out. All right, let's bail off over the side here. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're going to grab a lift and connect it into there and bring it all the way up to the ceiling. And likewise, same thing here. be a problem now that I look at it so I think I'm gonna do this differently I think what we're gonna do instead is put a merger here with the output going that way Yeah. And then we're going to come out of here into there and make sure that's not going to clip with that arm. It's not. Okay. I want to avoid running stuff all the way up to the, to the edge of the next floor. Uh, because that may impact, um, you know, cosmetic stuff later. Very good. Okay, now we're going to take a lift and run this up to the ceiling. To there. Okay, let's go straight down this tile here. To right here. And what are these? These are plates, right? Okay. So 
so let's do a conveyor pull here. Can I put a merger on top of that? Well, not really, but I can do it this way. Oh, <laughs> uh, we need to come down one, right? Yeah. Grab a lift here and bring this one up to. Oh, damn it, Jim. We're gonna have the same problem here now, aren't we? Uh, fiddlesticks. Okay, so in that case, we're gonna do this. We're gonna put. Um, if we bring this down to here. Yeah, we need to come down one more. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four marker showing. We need that fourth marker not to be showing. So like this. Now we can hook this. No, we still got to go down even one more. Damn. Okay, so we need this right above the third marker then. We'll get it right eventually. There. Because here again, I want to avoid bringing stuff right up to the edge of this. And there's our plates. Okay. Now, I'm going to put you there, at least for the moment. And then we're going to run down here and put... you here just for the moment now will this belt reach all the way down there it doesn't okay so we're gonna need another no not you another one right here Excellent. Next, we're going to put you there and you there. Uh, and then we want to put you, uh, you here. I think, actually, that we can do this. Huzzah. Looking good. Okay. Let's go upstairs and get the plates and rods hooked up next before we mess with the screws because the screws are going to be a little more involved. So what we need to do now is that's going to have to come back out further. Right, okay. Will that go past the belt? Yeah, it should. Okay. There we go. don't even necessarily need that there at all. Okay. Now, let's get right underneath this floor hole. And then look straight down. And add that there. And just confirm that we lined that up correctly. We did. Okay. And we need to do five down here. Excellent. 
And we can actually go ahead and put this one in and we want to make sure, right, that this is an output. Hold on, let me redo that. I want it facing this way. Okay, good. Let's go back down. I think we're gonna have a cable issue here. So what we're gonna do is, oops. Move you. We're going to have to nudge it like that. There we go. Okay, that takes care of that. So this first hole here needs to be plates. So what I'm going to do is put a lift in here. Well, all of these will have lifts like this. Okay. And then we're going to run you to the edge of there. into the trim again, aren't we? Shit. Okay. So I think we need to go back three. One, two, th three. Let's test that before we commit to the other ones. Yeah. And we're going to want you to go down here. Oh, that's bass backwards. Let's run the belt first, and then we don't have to worry about it. Okay, I think we want there. Yeah, we still have clipping issues with those guys as well. Yeah, I remember this happening in my test safe. So these two constructors, the wires are going to have to go at an angle. There's just no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Yeah, I know, I know of no way around that. At least, you know, with running the wire from the ceiling. So it is what it is. Can't do anything about it. Okay. Now... If we were a little further along in terms of awesome uh, shop stuff, I would have probably done this wiring a little bit different. Um, if any of you watched my Update 8 series, when I built my heavy modular frames factory, I put kind of like a wire rack above the machines, and I probably would have maybe done something like that here, but I don't. I haven't unlocked that yet, so... Yeah. Okay. Anyway, let's we'll just keep on keeping on with what we got. Okay. And then let's grab this one, which will be rods and line it up with that belt. Once again, we are going to use smart splitters for this. Um, will you line up? No, you won't. Of course, you're going to be a bastard. All right. Well, then we'll eyeball you. What about you? Nope. You're not going to line up either. So we'll eyeball you as well. Out the left-hand side, we want plates and overflow out the center. And on you, out the left-hand side, we want rods and overflow out the center. Same idea. Uh, whatever the quantities are we're sending, It'll send what the machines need, and the overflow will go to storage. I don't remember what the numbers were off the top of my head, but 
That's how it'll work. This is not needed. Okay, let's go up and get those connected. We should already have... Okay, why do I not have product coming up these two lifts? Something's not right. We should see plates and rods going up those guys. Oh, that's what the something is that's not right. Huzzah! It helps when you hook the right stuff up. I'm just saying. And we have plates and rods. Excellent. Let's go hook them up to their machines. Okay. I just realized that... Uh, I hooked those up backwards. <sighs> For Pete's sake. Okay. Okay, let's hook this up. And reconnect you. Let's grab a lift here. You go down to here. And you go down to here. But before we connect these guys, we need to go clean the line up above. Because we have the wrong thing going to the wrong place. So we have to clean all the plates out of here. Looks like we need a little more belt action. There we go. Okay. Clean. Now we should be able to hook these up. So rod should be the first one, plates should be the second one. Now, what we're gonna do is we're going to put a splitter right here. Like so. And then we'll reset this. And then we're gonna run a belt right around the corner into this rotor machine uh, for rods. And we're going to also run a belt from here into this rotor machine for rods. There you go. That takes care of the rods. You know what I might actually do, though, um, is... Okay, let's put, let's do this. Let's put you there. And I'm going to run you through here. Because this is going to be our, our bus, and I think it'll look nicer if it kind of routes that way. It doesn't have to, but... Actually, you know what? Fuck that. We don't need to do that. Never mind. We'll just do it the way it was. That'll be just fine. All right. Plates will come to here. And we need to bring them down to... trying to think here for a second. Yeah, let's bring this, the bus, all the way down to here. I might change that towards the end of things here, but for now, we'll, we're going to do that. And yeah, we're going to put you in there. 
And then we're going to put splitters up here. And these will be for our reinforced plates. And that's the end of that line. So let's put a lift under there so it has a the appearance of a support. Can I get a line from there all the way to there? I can. All right, let's actually do that. Make sure that's, that should be going that way. Yeah, okay. Good, so that gets our rods and our plates connected. Now for the screws. So here's what we have to do, and I had to write this down. The next screw belt, this one, needs to be the 180 screws. So we have one set of machines that are outputting 180, one set that's outputting 140, and one set that's outputting 200. So this one needs to be the 180 set. Okay, let's go back down. And this is our 180 set right here because we have 50, 100, and, oh, wait a second. Yeah, we have this one too. So we have three at 50, so that's 150 plus 30. All right, yeah, 30, okay. So this is the next belt that needs to be connected. And I'm going to put that there. And we're just going to run a line down over to here. Okay, that from this vantage point looks like it's too high. So right now it's got two markers showing. Um, so let's do... There, pretty sure that that's gonna be correct. Now, any chance we can get a smart splitter to line up with that? Hey, look at that. See, I don't I don't get it, man. I don't know what the rhyme or reason to that is. Sometimes that lines up, sometimes it doesn't. Don't know, don't know what to say. Um. Oh, no, this does not need to be a smart splitter because this is this is load balance. This is the exact amount, right? Okay, so uh, if you guys didn't know this, if you hold down control, you can replace a splitter with a merger or a smart splitter with a normal splitter, etc., etc. And that way you don't have to reset the damn thing. Okay, there's your tip of the day. Yeah, these are load balance. Um... Wait a second, that needs to be a merger. <laughs> Damn it. All right, well, we'll do the same thing. Um, just need to make sure that the merger is going that direction. Um, yeah, so these are load balance. They're sending the exact amount. We don't need to smart split them. We just normal split them. Okay, that does not need to be there now. Oh, wait a second, right. We gotta run these the other direction. I just remembered that. Yeah. So these were actually. Okay, I gotta turn that around. So all the screws are gonna be running that way because they have to converge up here. So turn this this way. Redo the belt. Run you to there. Okay, now let's grab the lift and we want it to be, uh, I think right there. Get in there and make it straight. Okay, so that is sending our 180 screw 
upstairs. Let's go upstairs and get that hooked up. Well, no, we should be able to stay down here and finish this because I have it written down the order. So, all right, so, th so the next one, this one here needs to be the 140. And we should be able to tell where to put the lift by just doing this and then going up two. And likewise, this one will be the 200. One, two. All right, let's put two more lifts there. And I also want supports underneath this guy. So our next one's the 140. So that's this one way over here. Uh, all right, so. If I, let's do this. Let's run you to here. Run you to there. I think what we're going to need to do is turn that in because otherwise it's going to hit the, the pole there. Okay, so let's grab you. This is the 200 line. We're going to actually hook that one up first. And we need to turn it this way. So now the question is how high does it need to be? I'm going to guesstimate. And then we'll adjust if need be. So we're going to go one, two. Actually, I think that one's two. So that means that one should be four and this one should be six. Maybe. Wouldn't bet my bank account on that, but let's just see if I'm right. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Gets that up kind of high there. Um, could keep this down low and run it up over there. Tell you what, I'm just going to do it this way for now. And if it proves to be an issue, I can adjust it later. So we need to be on this seam here. And this could be a normal uh, merger going that direction. Okay, let's rerun this. And that can go right into there. And if we did this right, that should go into there nice and straight. I think we did it right. What do you know? What do you know? Okay. Good. Now, for this guy going to need to do here is grab a lift. So we know this one's four. So one, two, three, four. We're going to need to turn it this way. But we're going to also need to push it out further that way. Are we going to run into any clipping issues? We have to push it, you know, past this other belt this is what I'm getting at. Oh, wait a minute. No, we don't, because it's going to go underneath it. Oh, yeah. No, we don't need to do that. Never mind. It's going to go underneath it, so we're good. That seems to suggest that it might make it all the way to here if it's straight. Look at that. Look at that. That is level, right? I believe it is. Okay. 
So all we have to do here is just take this merger and make sure it's going that way. Run you over to here and run you into here. That all looks good. Level and straight. And that should connect all of our screws. Everything's flowing. Okay, let's go up to the next floor and make sure we see them going up the lifts before we go to the third floor. I see screws on all three of them. Okay. Just about done with this, this part of our endeavor here. So this is our 180 and it needs to feed the reinforced plate machines. So all we need to do here is put this here, put that there, and this one here. Uh, okay, why, why did these line up and that one's not doing it? What the actual F? Ooh, I don't know if that one actually lined up though. Did it? Well, we'll find out in a second. See? No rhyme or reason, man. Okay, we're going to have to eyeball this one. Uh, actually, you know what we could do? Uh, if we put a lift here first, it might line up on that. Nope, it still doesn't. It won't even line up on that. Jesus. Okay. So, I think we want to go right there. Let's see if this actually worked. Got to get the lifts pretty damn close for them to connect. Yep. Once it makes the clicking noise, we're good. Okay. Let's see what this one does. Yep. That one's good. And that one's good. We got it. So that's sending 180 screws into three machines that need 60 screws per minute. Perfectly load balanced. Our next screws here, uh, these are our 140. These are going into the bolted modular frame machine. So we bring this around to here and this around to here. Uh, looks like we need another thing there. All right, now let's grab a lift and yeah you'll be you'll be getting plates once these guys get get going yeah okay we just saw some plates fly through there uh we haven't hooked up our rotor machine so we have we don't see the rotors yet okay i just saw plates go in there okay we're good okay so i think this one needs to go up too one, two. And then we should be able to... Nope, get the lift. There you go. Stack that. Make sure you're going that way. Redo this belt here. put that up too high didn't I okay come back down here that's correct and then we should be able to do this 
except for we're clipping. You know what? There's a, actually another way we could do this now that I think about it. One, two. What if I just do that? No, it, it was right. It just, for some reason, the straight belt mode did not like that. And we're not clipping here. It's close, but it's not clipping, so we're good. I like that better than doing this jank thing up higher. It's a little cleaner. Okay. Good. We don't need any of this here. But let's do our, our little support thingy here again. So it looks like these guys have some support underneath them. Even though the game doesn't care, I care. Fantastic. All right. Must is our rotor screws. And that's 200 per minute. Uh, all right. Let's... Do, do, do. We just need to get to about here. I'm just going to put these here temporarily. So I believe the way that I did this is we put this in here and we run it up to there. Is that the right level? It looks like it's one too high. Okay. So we have one, two, three markers showing. We need that third marker not showing. First marker, second marker, third marker, bring it down one. Can we luck out and get a splitter to line up on that? Nope, it just refuses to do it. Okay, we're going to have to eyeball it. Let's see if the lift will connect. Nope, not quite. All right, let's do this differently then. Whoops, damn it. Actually, we don't even need to hook that up quite yet. We're just going to build it up from the ground. Because that way it'll be on the grid down here. Then we know it's correct. Okay, grab a lift. There we go. Okay, so now this one over here goes in here, and we go um, first marker, second marker, third marker, down one. And I think we want to turn it this way. Because then we can just do this. And we missed the wire there. And I think we've accomplished our mission. Okay, let's move you over to here and take you guys out. And I believe, ladies and gentlemen, we have all of our assemblers hooked up. They're not all, you know, they, they don't all have their buffers filled yet um, because they're waiting on the rods to to get caught up, but they are working. Yep, we're looking good. Okay. So by the time we get all of the outputs connected, uh, these will all be full and just waiting, waiting to go, you know, and then they'll be at full capacity for us. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to wrap up this episode here. 
Um, and so for our third and hopefully final episode for this build, the plan will be to run all of our outputs back down through the center of the floor. Uh, you know, coming coming down from there, starting with our sushi belt, and we'll add our copper production to this, and then down below we'll add the iron to it. And then we will have um, everything coming out down here. That's our that's our screws, which I'll fix that later. But basically, the flow is going to be everything is going to come out, uh, you know, from this section, and then it's all going to kind of flow out and down through here. Let's get rid of that and come out. And I'm just going to have a row of of conveyors of each product lined up along here going out over this way we're going to extend this pad here out um out, out there quite a ways further and then we're going to set up smart splitted storage very much like what we have going on over there but this will be permanent storage and uh i'm i'm pretty sure we can get that done in the next episode not going to promise that, but most likely we will. All right. Thanks, everybody, for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, uh, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video. And I need to go find out what the hell's wrong with my tractor. I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.